Adolf Hitler. You all heard about that guy, right? <laughs> of course. Why shouldn't you? Hitler the Whitler. Beast. Killer. Killing 10 million Europeans. <laughs> Savage. King Leopold. You all heard about him too? Okay, just a few, but of course, why should you? Leopold the Leopard killing 10 million Africans, but hey, who cares? When you hit and massacre in millions, but you end labor the Hitler. Your name and picture don't portray fear, torture, and sorrow. Your victims ain't even talked about because they are niggas. <laughs> African. Murder. Murder at its peak. Yet, shh, swept under the carpet. Why bother with some dirty black African puppets? Oh, Mother Africa. Oh, Mother of ancient civilization. What the hell happened to her? When did she exchange her bed rice for a plate of porridge? How did she offer her head on a platter of gold like the head of John the Baptist? What happened to her beauty and glory? Her fine skin, supple, soft like fine wine. Her full breasts that suckled nations. Her fertile womb that nature generations. Her figure, curvy and sassy, you can't help but whistle. <laughs> the way she graciously sways her hips. Nest got a turn and eyes got a look. Oh boy. Who be that babe? Small girl with a big god you might call her, but she's a breathing goddess that houses her god. As charming as she is, yet chaste, pure, a royal queen seated in her kingdom, her throne overseeing her lands, lands richly blessed with milk and honey, minerals, oils. She had all she needed. She was content. Oh, the majestic pride of Mother Africa, her cultural heritage, her feast, her festivals, her balanced diet, the Akamo Anakara, the African Ankara tied around her waist like a rapper, her dance moves, the Atilog of the Bata, oh Mother Africa, just a smile from the sun and the sun shone on her, never had it seen such radiant, comely beauty, love at first sight, she was sun kissed. The dark skin of her son, its ebony glow, its black masterpiece, the aftermath of the intercourse between mother and the son. Emeka Ugochi Femi Uche, what the hell happened to our mother? What happened to Mother Africa? He stepped upon her lands and discovered they were rich, way richer than his. You see, he didn't attack out of greed, but out of jealousy. Why her lands not his? Who the hell is she? Why is the African soil the richest soil in existence? He leveraged on her naivety and her vulnerability, invaded her intelligence, ravaged her innocence, stripped off her confidence, ripped her mind. He came in the guise of religion. His God on one hand, his gun on the other. Mother Africa was scattered and massacred. It was brutal and anathema survival of the fittest. Her body was fit. Her mind a misfit. No one told her life is lived from within. If he could capture her mind, then he wins. Oh, my radical Africa. A red caliber. Ignorant of the strength she possesses. Suffering from slavery. Bound in chains. Her bliss, her peace. Her homes, her lands. Snatched from her with the snap of a finger. She was led like a sheep to the slaughter. She was slaughtered. Mother Africa was slaughtered. She lost all faith. She accepted her fate to the days of her sons and his mate. Martin Luther, Nelson Mandela, they both screamed one language, freedom! And when their chants and rant began to churn their stomachs like the eruption of a bile, the temperature of their blood getting to its boiling point, it began to bubble out their eyes. They screamed, enough! Said the oppressors to the oppressed, you are free. Go! But oh, the scars of Mother Africa. She had believed and lived a life for far too long. She was free of her chains, but her cerebrum was still chained. She still felt inferior to his superiority, preferring his culture to her heritage, accepting
accepting the feet, believing she couldn't fully leave her dreams because she could never measure up to his standards. We castigate as we celebrate the earth. We hate us, we elevate theirs. We say the grass is greener on the other side, but how about we water our grass and make it green? We let them deceive us. We let them brainwash us. We let them enslave us. Hello, Africa! It's time to rise. It's time to take back what rightfully belongs to us. It's about time we made use of our time before we ran out of time. It's time to take the calculated steps to dream and to build and to make footprints on the sands of our time. They destroyed our walls. We can rebuild them. They still our resources. The gold, the diamond, the platinum. Hey, we still got the lands and there's platinum from where that came from. Life is lived from within and the resources in here can never get exhausted. We can rebuild our failed institutions. Hello, Africa! That we are black doesn't mean we lack. That we are black shouldn't crack us. Why bleach when you can reach? I mean, why breach the contract that says you are wonderfully made, you can do all things? Why struggle so hard to be like her when you can't even exhaust you? It is truer than true that you can never be youer than you. You can never be you enough. Yes, pay attention to your container, but be freaking freaked out at your content. Let them see that you ain't just surface. You are substance, baby. You ain't just surface. You are substance. Tattoo that on your cerebral. Who says we are matter that has weight and occupies space? I am matter. I have weight. I occupy space. One day trace my race. Now we set the pace. We are braced up, but you want your souls. <laughs> I'm a breathing matter. And the matterness of my matterhood. That one now, another matter. I'm an African piece of matter. I gallant, solid, legit, original. So why should I grow up in fear and timidity? I see my melanin is a cause or a skin disease. Is it about the blackness or whiteness of the skin or the redness and fierceness of the heart? Hello, Africa! It's time to unknow what we've known. It's time to unlearn and relearn. It's time to declutter the clutter that stuffs our minds and enslaves our brains. We speak freedom. It's time to do freedom. Africa! Appreciate your unique uniqueness. Believe in your cultural heritage. Celebrate your melanin gorgeousness. Dominate your wealthy territory. Africa! Our ancestors handed over to us as card history. We can live as an inheritance for our children, the future. And by the way, yesterday the future was tomorrow. Today the future is now. And the time is now o'clock. Africa! Algeria, Angola, Benin, Botswana, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Cabo Verde, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Comoros, Republic of Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Cote d'Ivoire, Djibouti, Egypt, Equatorial Guinea, Eritrea, Eswatini, Ethiopia, Gabon, Ghana, Gambia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Kenya, Libya, Lesotho, Liberia, Mali, Madagascar, Malawi, Mauritius, Mauritania, Morocco, Mozambique, Namibia, Niger, Nigeria, Rwanda, Sao Tome, Sicilis, Sierra Leone, Somalia, Senegal, South Sudan, South Africa, Sudan, Uganda, Tunisia, Tanzania, Togo, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Africa! <laughs>